As we wrote in the column, you know, there was a lot of concern over something called the surcharge mm -hmm. lag because, you know, when, you know, unlike you airlines, about the, the, the gas surcharge, exactly, fuel. and and the fuel, fuel surcharge right. because they use a, they use almost two billion gallons right. of you know various types of fuel. They're a huge fuel user, and. Unlike an airline that would hedge, you know, they don't hedge. They just they tell you if it's above a certain level, we're going to build this in. UPS does the same thing. Other mm -hmm. um, other carriers do the same thing. And when prices are rising quickly, there's this fear that it, they'll be too slow to pass it on, and there's going to the earnings will be pinched. And you saw and that, that in the past, right? You've seen that in the past, and this was a really strong quarter. It was strong enough to you know to completely outweigh that, and they reported really good numbers, which is, as we said, but we also said you know look out for slowdown, especially in Asia, because they are extremely sensitive, extremely sensitive to. Uh, a slowdown in, in global mm -hmm. growth. If you look at the past couple of recessions, you know, a, a, a three, four, five percent slowdown in, in shipping volume, you know, equated to a fourteen to you know twenty percent drop in, in right. earnings per share, and that's that's sort of what they warned about. Today. Now you can see. <coughs> so we just showed the chart. The stock is down there this morning. Uh, you know, one thing I thought was interesting. They didn't really talk about what UPS wow, did. Yeah, down 4 the big deal. Right down right. Four, talking about the the TNT uh, right. Express deal that UPS did. Big global competitor. They didn't touch on that. Right. People were kind of wondering if they would. Well, I mean, it, it puts them in a difficult position um, because w what they have done is focused on Asia, where a lot of the growth is. If you look at you know the different regions of the world and the forecast, then that's where most of the you know economic growth period. But the shipping growth, it's actually intra Asia and then between Asia and North America. There's a you know big growth projected in in shipping volume. Not so much between Europe and, and the U.S. and much less within mm -hmm. Europe. But still, I mean, th this gives UPS a, a pretty nice position and allows them to outflank them. The reason that they didn't talk about it, you could speculate. You know, there, there's some speculation that they would, you know, they were interested. They never confirmed that, that they would bid. But there's a pretty hefty $200 million yeah. breakup fee, uh, and it's it's not a cheap deal to begin with. UPS is a bigger company, uh, and also maybe that they wanted to keep the focus on on what they're doing, not what their what their right. competitors doing. But it, it, it's, I'm not surprised that they were coy about it. Um, uh, unfortunately, what they did highlight is that they're cutting back flights and that they, you know, that they see lower growth. And the range that they gave uh, of expectations for earnings per share this year uh, is a little disappointing to the right. market. Right, and so it's, it's in, you know, good. Oh, I was going to say, so you know, obviously FedEx is considered an economic bellwether. Mm -hmm. So you know, from this report, and the stock is down here in early trading. Mm -hmm. What should investors glean from it? What are some of the big themes going forward? Or you know, is the U.S. recovery on track? And uh, what what are they saying globally about just global trends? Well, I think I mean, you, you know, you can talk to uh, you know twenty different economists on Wall Street and ask what they expect. But uh, you know, and you can do, look at things like uh, I mean, other markets. But talk to FedEx. I mean, they have right, their exactly. pulse real time on what's right. going. <laughs> and when you're talking about a, you know a bellwether, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not you know so much what they they did this past.